Today is February 12th and for 30 minutes over the next 30 days, I will be training on the parallel bars to accomplish three things. I want to double my L sit time. I want to be able to straddle press to handstand and I want to be able to planche. I want to thank today's sponsor, the Tim Bar Guy for sponsoring the parallel set. Now let's go see what my L sit, straddle press to handstand and planche looks like as of today. But the idea would be to be here and have both feet straight out. I wish I could show you, but maybe in 30 days I'll be able to. Okay, now we know my L sit is at around 25 seconds. So we're looking for around the 50 second mark at the end of this 30 days. However, I would love to push over a minute. That would be ideal for me. My straddle press to handstand was not bad at all. I actually really liked how I handled that and I haven't really practiced that in a while. So to see that for my first or second attempt was um, pretty, pretty fascinating for me to see for myself. And I actually think I might be able to accomplish it in 30 days, depending on how hard I work, of course. And then we have my planche. We're gonna see about that one. I would love to get as close as possible. I do have some exercises dedicated to the planche. So if 30 days might be enough. However, we'll see. I don't wanna put any negative connotations out there. I also want to discuss what exercises I will be working on. I have them written down here. So we're going to work on push-ups. We're going to work on full extension of push-ups. We like to skimp our push-ups so we don't get full range of motions. I'm going to do dips. I want to do shoulder presses. I'm going to work on crow, like a yoga pose. I'm going to work on L-sit, of course. We're going to have L-sit tuck, one leg L-sits, and even L-sit straddles. Then I want to work on tuck holds and L sits to tuck holds. Now we're entering transitions. Then we tuck hold to tuck planche and tuck planche and L sit to tuck planche. My first 30 minute session will begin right after I finish recording this video. And then every couple of days I will come in and show my progress. Let's start. Today is February 19th. That means we are on day seven of this challenge. And I have to say it has been a very humbling experience. Half of the transitions, mostly on the planche side, I haven't been able to do at all. I've really only been working on push-ups, the scissor dips, shoulder presses, and I've only been able to do two transitions, the L sits with the L one leg sit and the L sit straddle, and then the L sit to L tuck. Those are the only transitions I've been able to do properly. However, I am getting stronger with my push-ups, I'm getting stronger with my dips and the shoulder presses, which funny enough, I wasn't able to do as many as I thought <laughs> consistently enough. However, the number that I have set has now become easier. So let's see what seven days of progress looks as far as my L sit, the shoulder press, the handstand, and I know the planche probably won't have any improvement because I haven't been able to work on it. However, let's go find out. at least a tip punch. After seven days, my timing on my L sit hasn't improved at all, pretty much. However, the stability has been increased tremendously. 
So I'm definitely proud of that. Straddle press to handstand, I'm proud of not going as low and being a little more controlled. So the strength is there. I really had to focus more on the shoulder presses a little bit more for that. And planche, and although you couldn't really see it, I can feel the difference in my planche attempt. I actually really haven't even attempted the planche other than seven days ago for the video because I'm not able to even get tuck planche right now. But that actually gave me a lot of motivation that I'm even seeing progress without necessarily working on it specifically. So let's see what the next seven days holds. Today is February 26th, which means we are on day 14, practically halfway done. The full range of motion within my push-ups, dips, and shoulder presses are getting much better. I'm getting more control. I'm even unlocked a little secret <laughs> within my L-sit that I will try to implement within my sit today. So let's go see what 14 days of working out has done. Okay, first things first, I do want to say I am super proud of my progress. The stability on my L sit is getting a little better, even with the new start. I'm seeing a little more control in my straddle press to handstand. I'm still coming down, but I'm having so much more control. And although I cheated on the planche, the fact that I can see my body potentially being able to do that is extremely fascinating. I can't wait to see what the rest of the half of this challenge is going to look like. Today is March 4th. That means we are on week three of this challenge and I'm pretty excited to see my progress after three weeks. Well, would it be three weeks or will this be the third week? However, let's go and see what my L sit handstand press from straddle and planche looks like. Okay, as far as the L sit, I did cross the 30 second mark last week and I'm still around that same area. However, I'm not improving in time, I'm improving in stability, which is more important to me, honestly, at the moment. I still do love the increase from the early 20 seconds, mid 20s to now 30s. Hopefully, if I grind out this week, I can try to shoot for 40. I really still would love to hit 50 seconds. The straddle press to handstand is getting much more controlled. I love the control I'm having being upside down now. I just need to get up and that's gonna come with more shoulder presses, 
much more shoulder presses, honestly, to be able to lift my full body weight up. But I can definitely see the progress with only, you know, 21 days worth of working out. And the planche is going to need so much more work. I don't know if another week is gonna do anything for that. However, I do notice the strength I am gaining from the workouts I'm doing is helping planche. It just, I definitely need the strength in other areas to work on the planche more. However, I love how everything is coming together and let's see what seven more days does. Today is March 13th. That means it has officially been 30 days of this challenge and I am extremely excited to see my progress. Remember, I don't time myself. I don't even attempt straddle press the handstand or planche until these videos. So these clips are going to be my first time seeing them as well. So I'm super excited. Let's go see. And that is what 30 minutes for 30 days has done for my progress. Although I didn't increase in time, the stability in my LSAT is absolutely phenomenal. So I'm not mad at that progression at all. The strata press to handstand is much more controlled. I'm even able to start to dip my head a little bit. And once I'm able to dip my head a little bit and have full confidence there, it should be much easier to fully extend my arms. And then that also comes with more shoulder presses, which actually needs to be worked on more. I am lacking strength in a lot of areas. I am strong, but for you know <laughs> what I'm trying to do, I definitely need to gather more strength. The planche, honestly, not bad. As you can tell, for just 30 minutes, I am breaking shape a little bit. So obviously there's some weakness here to be able to lift my whole body instead of trying to arch my back. So I'm definitely gonna to continue to work on that. However, I did unlock one thing that I do want to show y'all real quick. Let's go. Would you look at that? I can L sit off of the floor. Before this challenge, I thought getting my legs off of the ground on the floor to get into L sit was nearly impossible. I actually should have even added it to this video. However, seeing that has shown myself genuine progress. So I'm going to continue this journey. I'm going to, in a day or two, start my next 30 minute for 30 days challenge. Hopefully I can get to that minute get a better straddle press to handstand and see some genuine progress in my planche with 30 more days. So stay tuned for that video.